Winter's approaching and I'm going to show you the procedure I use for extracting the pips from the apples that have grown as a result of the crosses I made in the spring and their treatment before sowing them into pots in a couple of months time. This is cross 35, the female parent being a sunset apple as you can see and the male being Adams per main. So I carefully cut the, the apple up and slip the pips out. They're usually between 5 and 10 pips in each apple. And sometimes you get fewer and sometimes not all of the pips seeds have fully developed. That's the lot. You have to be quite careful not to actually cut the pips and damage them as you're removing them. Okay, so there are nine pips in this apple and they're in reasonably good condition, fairly fat and well developed in nearly all cases. At this point you could simply sow the pips up into pots of compost or soil and wait for them to germinate naturally. However, I found this to be fairly unreliable. Germination is often low. So I use a, a more complicated procedure designed to increase the eventual percentage germination of the pips. The first thing I do is surface sterilize the pips in a dilute solution of bleaching powder calcium hypochlorite, made up by dissolving about 10 grams of solid in 150 mils of water. I take 5 to 10 millilitres of this solution and put the pips in for 5 minutes, swirling occasionally. This helps to kill off any fungal infections on the surface of the pips that would be carried through germination. I won't actually do this here but taking this as done the next thing I do is to transfer the pips out of the calcium hypochlorite solution and into tap water and I leave the pips in tap water for a total of 72 hours changing the solution the water every 24 hours this is meant to leach out compounds from the surface, the skin of the, of the pips, that may be inhibiting germination. After this has been finished, I take the pips out, dry them, and then transfer them into small mini-grip bags, which have been labelled with the cross number and the parents, in this case Sunset is the female, Adams per main is the male. And inside each bag I put a teaspoonful of vermiculite. Now, vermiculite is meant to have antimicrobial properties and It assists in preserving the pips in good condition until you might want to plant them. So I put the pips, all nine pips, in the bag and I also add about half a mil of water, tap water again, just to slightly moisten the environment that the pips are going to be in. Seal the end of this bag and then I'll place this in my fridge for between 30 and 60 days to stratify the pips. This is a, a cooling treatment uh, that assists in their eventual germination. The exact length of this stratification period isn't crucial but Certain sources in the literature would suggest that up to 60 days is advisable. 
So this bag will now go into the fridge and I'll forget about it for a couple of months. Time passes and after up to 60 days of stratification in the fridge at around 4 degrees Celsius, I take the pips out and sew them into pots. So here's the mini grip with the pips in and what I do is simply pour the contents out onto the surface of the pot which contains either good quality topsoil or um, a propriety, proprietary uh, potting compost, seedling compost and spread the nine pips in this case across the surface evenly distributing them and simply press them in to a depth of about a centimetre You don't want to put them in too deep because they have to expend quite a lot of energy putting the cotyledonary leaves up above the surface when they germinate. Similarly, you don't want them on the surface or they might dry out. There's one more here. I try and put them in with the pointed uh, end of the pip downwards because the first structures that are going to emerge above the surface of the soil are the two little cotton edenry leaves and the root will emerge from the pointed end and go downwards. And so if you put them in that orientation it just gives them a, a start. Okay, so the pips are in and then I double label the pots with plastic labels on which I write the year of the cross, the number of the cross and the number of pips that I've sewn into the pot so that I can tell what the germination percentage is in a couple of months. The only other thing I do now is water the pot quite well from the surface and then I'll place this in a cold frame outdoors and it'll stay there until the pips germinate in a couple of months time. So the chronology of the whole procedure is as follows. Pick the apples that are the results of the crosses in this part of the world in September or October. I then store those apples for a few weeks in a shed to let them fully ripen. Then in November I take the pips out of those apples, put the pips in small bags containing a little vermiculite, just been dampened, and put those bags in the fridge, domestic fridge, for between 30 and 60 days at a temperature of about 4 degrees Celsius, during which time pips are stratified and I take them out of the fridge and sew them into pots and these pots then go outside from December to February, the coldest months of the winter here and eventually germinate for us usually starting mid-February and going all the way through till mid-March so it's really quite simple, but using this procedure, germination rates I can attain are usually above 85%. And a fair few of the pips that don't germinate turn out to be ones that weren't fully developed when they went into the soil in the first place. So that's that.